Hate number five, minor age-related breakdowns. Yes, yes, everyone knows that Mercedes does not break down, but only occasionally gets sick. But let's be honest, even the youngest W211S are already 14 years old, so sometimes they already have the right to break down. And they do it. We'll talk about typical sores below, they deserve special attention, and here we'll put together every little thing that falls off the old W211 with some regularity. Most often, mild irritation is caused by typical age-related problems. On a significantly used car, the gaskets can get snotty, which is not at all expensive to fix, about 5 to 7,000. Most likely, the crankcase ventilation will be clogged, and there will be oil consumption. This is, in modern language, light. It could be worse. One owner of a car from the early years of production managed to collect almost all the faults that usually appear on a dozen different W211S. His review is so epic that I don't want to cut it at all. Therefore, I will quote almost completely, everything would be fine, but then everything is trifles, the power window, a cable break, replace the trapezoid, there is no other way. The rear stop burned out, to my surprise, there was a block microcircuit, the assembly is changing. Breakage of the mass air flow sensor, to be more precise, the mass air flow sensor edition. Replace the thermostat. Next, replace the outside temperature sensor, ABS sensor, passenger seat comfort control unit, passenger presence sensor. Valve burnout, replacement of all valves. Front shock absorbers, levers, ball joints. Radiator leaked. Failure of the passenger door lock activator, then the driver's door. Alternator replaced two times. Parking brake repair. This, of course, is just quiet horror, there was clearly no need to buy a car in a state of firewood. Nevertheless, all this is indeed changed quite often, but never all at once. My condolences. Love number 5, Interior and Comfort. Here we will combine two related things, the quality of the interior and the comfort that is present in it. The quality of the interior is primarily the quality of its materials. Everything about the W211 is simply amazing. A car with even about 200,000 kilometers on the inside can look almost new. The only thing that can give out mileage is a leather steering wheel. But otherwise, even after running for half a million kilometers, the interior can still remain in very decent shape. Of course, the owners of cars that are no longer new are very happy about this, at 170,000 kilometers. The interior remained unworn, the leather of the seats did not stretch out or become ridged, the interior is simply an icon of the automobile industry of those years, high quality leather, not worn anywhere, wood, soft plastic, comfortable seats. With comfort, too, everything is clear, there is not only a very decent soundproofing and a rich set of options, but also an excellent chassis tuning, which, coupled with a high quality interior, gives a feeling of a very high level of comfort thanks to the automatic transmission setting, as well as very good vibration and noise dynamics and speed is almost completely dissolved, you need to keep an eye on the speedometer, the difference between 80 and 140 is not noticeable at all, but the traffic cops radar will immediately measure this difference in ruble terms. Hate number 4, electronic jokes. Periodic electrical problems, of course, could also be classified as minor age-related problems, but there are a decent number of them, so we'll list them as a separate item. So, what do they say about the electrics of the age-old W211? Something like this, a lot of electronics, not all of them are reliable, what could strain your pocket in this car? Electrics. There's a lot of it here, and very different. Let's start with the common information and communication system. The thing turned out to be not very reliable and expensive to repair. This is noted by many owners, the command block, if equipped with it, is far from reliable. Most often, screens and cables to them fly, some parts do not survive frost, the disk drive dies, repair team is not cheap, it doesn't do much good. And now let's remember the poor fellow who collected all the breakdowns of the W211 in his car. Among other things, he complained about the brake light and mentioned some kind of scheme. Here the problem is much more interesting than it seems. 
A detailed description of it was posted by another owner of the German. Also, the lamps in the rear lights can stop working from moisture, it would seem replace the light bulb, and there are no problems. But that was not the case. In pre-style hip lamps are designed for the entire service life, they are soldered into the board and are not sold separately. On restyling in general, the lights became diode. A new board with lamps costs $40, but changing it for one lamp. You know, right? A light bulb can't cost 40 bucks. Personally, I bought another board with burnt-out bulbs on the forum for a penny, dropped out a couple of whole lamps from there and soldered it to me. But this is for those who have the opportunity and desire. Otherwise, either change the entire board, or put rear lights from restyling. In general, take care of the rear lights, my left one began to sweat from cracks and then one or two lamps died. Well, another classic problem with the light was described by one of the owners as briefly and accurately as possible. There are configurations with adaptive xenon. This nonsense does not last long. It usually does not work on older cars. We can end this section with the conclusion that another experienced W211 lover made for me. If you love the old Mercedes, you also love working with a soldering iron. Love number four, manageability. It is clear that the handling of the E-Class should be a reference. So it is, and people often boast, driving performance is excellent, it is soft, imposing, but at the same time, if you need to speed up, the car literally digs into the ground, management is beyond praise, it rushes along the track like a tank, it doesn't move, the handling is very good. The car is very soft, it doesn't shake. It's a pleasure to enter corners at speed. But another question arises, how to drive in the winter on a rear-wheel drive. It turns out that it is normal, but subject to several conditions. The first is not to climb in deep snow. The second is to have good tires. There are no difficulties at all on the track, but on snow or ice in the yard you can get stuck. Another thing is all-wheel drive formatic. Despite the fact that Mercedes needs a Fermatic for better handling, and not cross-country ability, it is also better to drive all-wheel drive in the snow. Some even conduct wild experiments, there is a lot of snow in the Urals, so all-wheel drive is simply an incomparable pleasure. Razok specifically drove to places where it is better not to go to ordinary cars. Snow drifts on the radiator grill. Marin took out normally. Without any difficulty. Exaggeration? It is likely, because the owners of old Mercedes sometimes like to brag, in sharp turns, the car is very stable, comparable to sports hatchbacks like GTI. Oh well. Hate number 3, Previous Owners. This reason for hatred does not apply directly to the car, but without it the story about the W211 is simply impossible. So many buyers of used cars are ready to beat with their hands and feet those who have driven them before. At some point, the cost of the W211 in the secondary market was relatively low, so there were lovers to buy this car with the last money and drive it all the way. And then, when she almost doesn't drive anymore, merge the next buyer, who then could not understand what was good in a Mercedes some kind of loose bucket, not a car. The problem, in general, is characteristic of many cars that were more or less premium in their youth, so there is nothing to be surprised at. The main thing is to remember the advice of those who were burned, you shouldn't take a wrong out car, and only through diagnostics. In order not to say later, Mercedes is rubbish. And if you don't listen to the advice, you can go broke, I'll say one thing, if you bought junk, then you shouldn't be surprised that the car sucks so much money. Well, very responsible secondary buyers sometimes report something like this, I personally look through about 15 options. And it is right. Love number 3, Overall Reliability and Predictability. With cars killed by previous owners, everything is clear, these are no longer Mercedes, but vacuum cleaners for money. But what if you find a good copy? But here all the owners say the same thing, this W211 will not let you down. The car requires high-quality maintenance, but if it is provided with this, it will reciprocate. Therefore, many note that everything depends on the condition of the car, on operation and maintenance. In general, a reliable car. There are many statements of this kind, so that you don't climb under it and complain that it's rubbish, not a car, 
take good spare parts and watch the car, it's better to serve it well once and forget for a long time about doing something there. And if you are a miser and will put cheap spare parts, then it's better not to torment him and give him in good hands. We will not argue with these statements, but we will give one more quote that may alert, if the stars and the chain are changed, then the ride will be forever. Eternity is good. But what are these stars and chain? Hate number 2, chain, stars, and SBCs. The main disadvantage of poster styling cars is the M271, M272, and M273 gasoline engines. The main problem of the inline 4 M271, the most popular W211 engine, is a weak timing. The chain sometimes could not last even 60,000 kilometers, and when it was stretched, the camshaft stars died. And here they are made one with the phase regulator housing, so their cost is cosmic. If you replace the chain in time, the sprockets can be saved. But they didn't always decide to do this, so more often they had to change everything at once. So what is said is true, after two months, a three-second ringing of the chain appeared on a cold one, replacing the chain with a tensioner. It was possible to wait with a replacement, but on the M271 it's better to be safe than sorry. You need to watch constantly, despite the fact that now it is hardly possible to find a motor with a native chain and stars, everything has long been replaced. But you still need to watch. The second problem is bad cylinders. It is more characteristic of the M272 and M273 motors, but from time to time it can get out on the M271. The problems of the M272-273 are the same, a weak timing chain and much higher chances of encountering bullies, and the overhaul of these motors costs fabulous money. Sometimes there are dramatic situations, I sold the car to a friend. He rejoiced for a short time. Three months later, the verdict, two sores of this engine suspended the operation of the car, scuffing of two pistons and a balancing shaft. The price of the issue was announced, but what will happen in the end, they don't even know in the service. The engine was removed and disassembled. A friend said that I would return a hundred money back, if I had known that this would happen, I would never have sold this car to a loved one. It's good to have such a decent friend. Unfortunately, the problems of the new V6S hit the car's reputation hard. You can often read something like these words, sores of the engine ruined the whole picture and significantly increased the cost of ownership. Sadness. Well, the second serious problem applies only to pre-styling cars, these are the same SBC brakes. While the system is working, everyone is very happy with how the brakes behave. But the resource of the block is limited, so sometime it still has to be changed. It is quite logical that many report, its resource is about 100 to 150,000, I have already changed it, but the warning that the warranty resource has come up close. The next message will be just a red screen and a tow truck. Or they give this advice, it's expensive, the node is critical, in case of failure you can find yourself with almost no brakes. So find out from the previous owner, or better yet, take a restyling. Better is better but restyled engines are just worse. Yes, and the box 722.9 is not as reliable as the pre-styling 722.6, however, it was not installed on all cars, and besides, it is more comfortable. Love number 2, the quality of the paintwork. The W211 body is not galvanized, and there are not many aluminum parts, the hood and front fenders. Nevertheless, this car is painted perfectly, you can still find examples that look very, very decent in appearance. Therefore, many write, the quality of the paint is excellent. Of course, there are chips, with such mileage this is normal, there are even places where the paint is peeled off to the metal, but not a hint of saffron milk caps, since 2003, the body has been preserved very well, in general, if the car has not been hit hard or done in our garages, then nothing threatens it other than chips. In part, most likely, such a high assessment of the quality of the paintwork was given by those who heard a W210 quietly rotting somewhere in a closed garage, which had huge problems with this. No matter how well the Mercedes is painted, it must be checked carefully before buying, the arches of the rear wings, the seams of the engine shield, 
the leading edge of the roof all this can already rust quite well. H. There is no escape from him. Hate number one, cost of spare parts. There is nothing special to comment on here, original spare parts have always been not the cheapest. Analogs, of course, can be found at more reasonable prices, but their quality does not always correspond to Mercedes. Therefore, many quite rightly warn, in my opinion, it is unrealistic to maintain such a car without a monthly income of 80 to 100,000 rubles, well, or at each MOT or breakdown, put the full Chinese S slash H, and like saved ones give money to your girlfriend Dolce Gabbana and take her to Turkey, I don't advise you to buy it without sufficient funds, I would like to warn those who wish, in no case do not buy this car for the last or on credit, because it will only bring disappointment. And a few more figures, without fuel and lubricants and consumables, that is, only breakdowns amounted to about 150,000 rubles. This is a one-year investment. True, according to the author, the car was bought from an irresponsible previous owner, see hate number 3. Some don't give numbers on principle, I don't write the cost of repairs on purpose so that all sorts of smart people don't tease me incredulously, but oh very expensive. I understand, I'm silent. Love number 1, last reel. I agree, boring and banal. But you can't argue against the opinion of the people, everyone notes the charisma of this generation of the E-Class and how good it is compared to subsequent generations. Therefore, I will not quote phrases like looks quite adequate among more expensive cars, a Mercedes is a Mercedes, this is obvious. It's a little more interesting to note the extreme of the W211, the appearance is still like that of a Mercedes then they went on to become like ordinary Kia and Hyundai. Here there is more ambition, as befits the owner of a car with a sight on the hood. Well, it would be logical to end with a tired phrase, which everyone presents as the apotheosis of wit and novelty, there is a Mercedes, and then there are other cars. On this wisdom and finish.